So we hope that you're hooked on uh, Zubaz because you want to talk about maybe the most comfortable pants, the most crazy pants for wrestlers, weightlifters. Uh, I mean, you probably, how many pairs of Zubaz you got right now? Uh, right now I've got of actual Zubaz. I Zubaz like pants. Maybe no, not. No, I, I have actual Zubaz pants that uh, Joe sent me just a couple years ago. Um, so let me think. Uh, one, two, three, four. I think I probably have about four pair of Zubaz, and I've got some Zubaz uh, coveralls, overalls. Well, everybody needs that. Red, white, and blue. I mean, this is uh, a company that, uh, as the legend goes, the uh, Road Warriors are partners in. Is that how you first hear about Zubaz? What can you tell us about their legacy in wrestling? Everybody was wearing them. I mean, they they were comfortable gym pants. It was comfortable workout gear that looked good, too, by God. And you could wear the damn things uh, anywhere and everywhere. And it was just so comfortable that they the road warriors would give them to all the boys or you'd pick them up in gyms or whatever. And, and all the kids were doing it. So man, Zubaz was a crazy fashion fad that you could be in the gym. You wear them coming out of the gym to the arena, whatever. And you're always looking fine, but I love my Zubaz because they were just so comfortable in, Easy, but yeah, the Road Warriors were partners in that and did very well with the Zubaz Corporation. I think that's pretty cool. You know, I mean, these days you hear a lot about a lot of wrestlers who moonlight and they have another side business here or there. But back then, it wasn't as widely known, or it was something that was, you know, more traditional. Like maybe this guy owns a gym or what have you. Uh, but to have a a clothing company like this, they were uh, they were innovators there, just and to- a successful international clothing company yeah even better 